Today we're going to discuss the Technic 00600 Shrink Pro machine. It's our latest model. We debuted it in 2012 at IMTS. It's in the current catalog and we have several customers across the U.S., Canada, and Mexico that are currently using this machine. There are some upgrades with the 00600 Shrink Pro machine that might make it a really good fit for your shop. First of all, we've maintained a very small footprint. As you can see here, it fits in a nice, concise space and can be set up in a dedicated area in your crib without taking up too much floor space. However, it's very easy to move this around. If you have several cells that use ShrinkFit and would like to share the capabilities of the machine and get the advantages of ShrinkFit without buying multiple machines, it can very easily be put on a roller cart and rolled around um, to be plugged into the right applications at the right time of your uh, production schedules. And another feature of the machine that's an upgrade from previous models is that it is very uh, versatile when it comes to electrical supply. It's wired to handle 208, 220, 480, whatever you have uh, in your shop, and therefore to move it to several different places, uh, either throughout the day, the week, uh, month, year, whatever, is quite simple. The machine is designed to handle all those variations of power. So it's one of the upgrades that we really like about it. The functionality of it is now handled by a touch screen, which allows you to select and dial in your shank size, and it can also help with instructions. There are several screens, which will show you uh, some pointers, some ideas, uh, a help button at a lot of these adjustment screens will give you some basic advice. As is typical in most shops, you have several different people over time who are doing setup of tools. ShrinkFit is the latest technology in holding in the market, and sometimes that variety of operators requires just some reminders of the basic and best practice with the machine. So the help feature is one of the new standard features. Also, the screen is a little more resistant to other materials in your shop, especially fluids, that we uh, try to avoid making contact with the ShrinkFit machine. What we're going to do today is do a sample half inch cat 40 holder with a half inch shank of course. We're going to go through a very quick selection of the uh, shank size heating time. We're going to go through that process here and again it should take us anywhere from three to six seconds. So what we have here is the adjustable handle on the machine. There are two ways that we heat. You can set the machine to do it automatically or you can use your finger to control the amount of time. So we have this adjusted down. On all of our uh, shank sizes, we have a variety of rings that can be used, and you can see some of the difference there in the IDs. You're using this to kind of trap the heat for the heating cycles and to trap the shop air that helps cool these down. For the purpose of the demonstration, we do not have the shop air hooked up because of the noise level, but that is typical uh, or standard, standard procedure for uh, heating a tool. We're going to bring the uh, arm down. We're going to bring it until we hear it or see it touch the holder and just lift it up just a little bit, a quarter of an inch at the most. Um, it's locked into place. We're going to use the glove that is provided with every machine uh, for safety. We're going to put this on. I'm going to go ahead and select the heating cycle for a half inch. So um, let's go to half inch. I'm going to switch that over to the inch dimension. You can switch to millimeter if you prefer. There's a lot more metric shank in the market. Uh, we're already set to a half inch. Sometimes with shrink fit, regardless of brand name of holder or brand name of cutting tool, uh, with experience, operators will want to adjust the time uh, somewhere in the two, three, four second range. With this machine, you do have that option. We're not going to use it today for the demonstration, but it's something that um, is available for someone to manually adjust and add or reduce some of the time if necessary. It's more of a finesse type of situation. So we're set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the screen that allows me to um, do the uh, push and go, which means I'm just going to hit the go button, the start button, and we're going to be able to just let the machine do the rest and we'll pop the tool in. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. And I'm going to use this button here to get it started. It's doing the heating. And that's it. That's typical time right there for shrink fit. We're going to hear a click here in a second for the air cool right there that would be going on. And we're done. The tool is set. 
we can remove this after the air has cooled it. As with any shrink fit machine, when you walk up to it and there's a holder in there, you always just want to be careful either with your glove after cooling or just to take a quick test. That is hot, but that's the way you can test a shrink fit holder if you walk up to a machine and you're not certain what's happened recently. Now we're going to go through the process of extracting a tool. Uh, this has been cooled down by the air. We're going to bring the head down and at this point we're going to again select the correct induction ring to insert over the tool to kind of trap the heat as we heat. We'll lift that up just a little bit there so we're set. And now we've already selected our time down here for the demonstration. I'm going to simply press the button here to start the heat and with my other hand that has a glove on um, we're going to wait for some of the um, heat to get applied and then extract the tool. So we'll take, take care of that right now. And that's it. We've extracted the tool. The recommended time was 10 seconds and we did that in about 9 seconds. Typically for putting a cutting tool into a holder it's a much faster process because you're taking a cold shank and a warm tool and it's very easy to jam them together. With a extraction cycle you have the tool, uh, cutting tool and the holder both heating up and it sometimes can take a few seconds longer to create separation since they're both expanding. That's the Technic 00600. If you'd like more details or a more detailed video that we can customize for your needs, let us know. We'll be happy to help.